Do you fancy yourself a superstar? How about a circuit superstar? Sounds pretty nice, huh? Hmm. Yeah, it's got a good ring to it, right? It's got alliteration, at least. Circuit superstar. A lot of S's. The circuit is C, right? Anyway, what is circuit superstars? Well, this game, it's a $20 game on Steam. If you want to try it, I think it's on PlayStation 4, PS4, and Xbox One as well. Uh, came out last year in October, so this one's been out for a little while. Um, but it's a sort of like arcade meets sim top-down racing game. Do you remember top-down racing games where you actually look over your cars as they drive? They kind of have like a, you know, interesting control scheme to them because you, you're not actually going left and right. You're kind of like going, you know, left when you're you're trying to understand how the car moves in that certain situation where it's going. It's it's interesting. It's weird. I grew up with it, you know, on the NES playing RC Pro-Am and, and games like that. Um, and so seeing one come back like this is actually really, really cool. So in this game, you got all the basic modes. We'll go over more of the modes here in a second, but we're going to jump right into the game. Uh, and of course, turn on the sound here so you guys can hear that lovely soundtrack. Uh, we're going to go into free play. We're going to set up a quick match here uh, or a quick race. So we got three laps. Yeah, three laps. We're going to do one race. Yeah, let's, let's pick a car we haven't used yet. Let's do the 60s. Let's do 80s GP. That seems fun. We got Pro Am, three laps, qualify once. No, let's see. Yeah, let's do no qualifiers, whatever, whatever that means in this situation here. And we're going to confirm that. And let's pick. I think this kind of deserty town here. So let's, let's go with that. Okay, so we got these Formula One looking cars. I like the green one. Let's go with that. Um, and prepare to be wowed by the top down racing style here. Interstate race. Here we are. They mentioned this was top down. Yeah, we are looking down on these cars. Look at this. How cool, right? Oh, so you can definitely feel and see the the arcadey look and, and style of it, right? But when you are turning corners and stuff like we are right there, it feels very sim like. Um, and the game is very challenging because of that. You got to know when to brake and when to slow down to get around these tight curves and a lot of times you're going to see the AI actually mess up like they're doing right there because <laughs> they don't know how to quite take the curves either. It's interesting to me because when I see that, I'm always like, man, it's either brilliant because they're emulating. Oh, geez, I'm going all over the place. They're either emulating how players are going to race, right? Oh, geez, I'm doing terrible here. Or uh, it's just completely dumb because the AI doesn't know what it's doing, right? Uh, it kind of makes me laugh, though, regardless. I am in 12th position. I am doing awful. Um, I find that the difficulty spike in this game is pretty crazy. I played two full Grand Prix on Amateur and won every race. And, and there was a little bit of learning curve to the track, like just trying to figure out like how the track is set up and learning when I need to turn and get around the other cars and stuff like that. Um, but I had no problem coming in first place both times. Uh, you know, po podium first. But... I will say I'm playing on the Pro-Am difficulty right now and finding it very difficult to catch up or get to them. Uh, one thing I do like that they do here, there's no racing lines, but they do put the... Jeez, uh, that guy just blasting right past me. Uh, they put the faint tire tread lines, you know, t tire tracks on the course so you can kind of see where you should be following and where you should be turning. It's weird because in certain parts of the level they, they show off very, very well and other parts they don't so much, so you got to, like, just kind of memorize the track and get used to it. This is a terrible race for me. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, we're going to come in last place here. So, whew, that was bad. Maybe the next one will play amateur, so that way I can, maybe I can come in a better place than 12. 12 out of 12. Awful. Absolutely terrible. We got this fun music regardless. I am not even placing. Everyone else gets a trophy. No participation trophy for me. All right, so um, we'll go through the modes here really quick. What do you say? So we just played through one race in free play. Uh, the, you know, the, the um, Grand Prix here, I actually have a good time with. 
but I, I feel like it's kind of long. Like I feel like each each lap or uh, each race there's four races, which is typical, but each Grand Prix race has five laps in it, and it just to me I don't know maybe four laps would be the sweet spot. We just played one with three laps. Five laps just feels a little too long, but maybe that gives you enough time to catch back up if you need to. I don't know. So I played the, uh, is it Pacino Cup? Is that how you say that one? And then we have the Super Truck Cup, which you can see here, I won both of those first plays. No problem there. Uh, so there's a lot of Grand Prix races for you to play, um, but I'm pretty sure they are recycling, uh, you know, different uh, parts of the courses. You know, I, I remember in the Super Truck Cup, they actually had two races where, yep, you had Buffalo Hill Rally Cross and Buffalo Hill Club, which you can't see behind my web webcam, but they take the same race and they just like modify it. So there's like different little areas to go to. So it actually kind of really threw me off once I got to the fourth race of this one, because I was expecting to keep going straight. I'm like, oh, it's the same race, but it wasn't. At the last minute, they threw in some cones and you're supposed to go the other way. So I was like, oh, I see what they're doing there. Okay. Um, but the other thing I want to point out here too, is if you look in the top middle there, you can see that they have five difficulty levels and I played on amateur. So I just played that free play on pro-am, which is the next one up and just like had my ass absolutely handed to me. So I can only imagine what it's like on superstar. We may play a free play super uh, star race here in just a second. So we can see how tough it is. Um, but I want to check out some of these other modes here too, because we have like weekly time trials and I, I want to jump into this. Um, and I, I kind of want to like participate. So let's do a super truck on this one and see what we can do. Get, get a time trial going here because this would be pretty fun. But yeah, you know, how am I feeling about this game overall? I, I dig it. I think it's cool. Um, I think that there's uh, a learning curve to it. I think that if you're expecting to go into this, you know, Mario Kart style and just holding the gas the whole time, it is not going to work out for you. You really got to learn the curves. You got to learn to let up on the gas and brake now and then. If you're not braking and slowing down for these turns, you're going to have a really bad time. It's just not going to go well for you, you know? So you got to learn to do that. So that was a, a pretty decent lap right there. We'll do one more lap. So we're going to race our ghost here. And yeah, we've already biffed it. <laughs> Brown ahead, ahead a little bit. And you know how it is, you, you do the time trial thing, like it's just one of those situations where it's like the more you race it in a, in a row, you know, sitting on the same race here, the better you're gonna do each time probably, um, as I run into every single wall that I can. Oh, tries to didn't get penalized there. All right, so we shaved a couple seconds off there. So there we go, that is your, your time trial here. And we're gonna quit back to the main menu. Uh, one of the things I thought was really strange about this game though, is the fact that they um, don't have a speedometer on screen at all. Like, it's not behind my webcam or anything. It just doesn't exist. And that has... I, in, I didn't think I would care that much. Like, when you really think about it, you're like, whatever, what's a speedometer? But I don't know. Something about having it on screen is comforting because it shows you your needle of like, okay, I'm, I'm accelerating now. Now I know I'm slowing down. I mean, you confirm that with your fingers when you're letting go of things and everything like that, but to not have the the UI kind of like show you that is, in my opinion, kind of strange. Like I never, like I said, never thought that would be weird, but it is kind of weird. Uh, we did not break the top 10 of the uh, leaderboard here. We, we were like, what, three seconds off, so we were nowhere near. Uh, we're gonna actually back out of here. Uh, we're gonna go back to free play. I think we're gonna do one more race here because I think you guys kind of get what we got going on here. Let's do... Let's do a rally car. Let's go back to amateur. Let's do, we'll do our normal five laps as the game normally sets up for Grand Prix. And we will pick, let's do Lost Lagoons. This one looks pretty fun. And what rally car should we pick? I like this black and green one, let's do it. So yeah, 20 bucks on Steam. I'm pretty sure it's 20 bucks on Xbox One and PS4 if you want to check this out. I think it's pretty fun. Um, but just keep in mind that I don't think that this shows off as the type of game that it is, you know, via trailer or gameplay footage. Uh, it's not, it's it's arcadey, don't get me wrong. Whoa, I just spun all the way around. That was not good. It is arcadey, don't get me wrong. There's no, no doubt about that. But there is a learning curve to the 
uh, the actual turning and how you uh, move your car and everything like that. It's I keep see that I keep uh, road. I gotta I gotta take those straight. Oh wow, that is terrible. See here, I, I was like, yeah, I'll play on amateur. I'll do better. Nope, not gonna happen. I never, I, I did not anticipate this game actually being hard to talk about while I was playing it because I'm used to talking and playing racing games with friends and stuff like that. You know, like playing Forza or something like that. So actually talking while trying to play this game is pretty challenging. Oh, did I take a good turn on that one? But at least we didn't get turned around there. Okay. Yeah, I find each race... You know, in this, this is any racetrack you're going to play in any game, right? But each one has uh, a little bit of a learning curve as far as, like, trying to figure out and about, you know, has you learning all the curves, right? <laughs> stupid, stupid joke. Um, oh, my God. I did the exact same thing again. Now I'm in eighth place. I was just going to do awful in all the races I show up here. It's, you guys are going to be like, oh, my God, get good scrub, right? I swear, you saw my first place on the other amateur stuff. Or the other amateur Grand Prix there. Oh, God. I am doing terrible. I'm going to shut up for a second and see if I can try to catch up here. Ninth position. I'm just all over the place here. Okay, up to eight. All right, don't cut it so sharp here. There we go. See, that's what I'm saying. The learning curve of like remembering like what is coming up here. Oh, right, I got to take this turn this way. You know, typical racing game stuff, you know. But some of these tracks, because you, you race them for a while and you're doing five laps or whatever, you get time to learn them. But I, I find that it's... For some reason, it's kind of easy to forget what you're doing on that particular racetrack. I don't know if it's because a lot of these tracks kind of feel and look the same. I'm, I'm not sure what the the issue is here, but I, I feel like most racing games, like I do them and I kind of get like what I got to do in the race, you know, by the first lap, you know, by, by the time I start the second one, I'm like, okay, I got this long turn here, you know, long straightaway here, cut here real quick. And I, I memorize this stuff pretty quick. And I don't know. Maybe it's because it's top down. Maybe that's what's throwing me off. I don't know. But it's kind of interesting. Oh, boy. That was pretty sweet, actually. I was not expecting that kind of outcome there. So, yeah. If you are going to play on the Superstar difficulty... Um, you got to get good, man, because you, you got to get those turns in. You got to you got to be in the right place at the right time whenever, and, and do the, the right speed during our turns and everything like that. Cutting them correctly, all that stuff, because otherwise you are just not going to catch up. We are on lap five. I don't think we're going to be able to catch up to these guys here. I think they are just too far ahead unless, unless they somehow get caught up on that rock that's way up there. I don't think there's any way. They get caught up a little bit, but then so did we. So, not gonna happen. And then we got the guy behind us catching up already. Why do I get Biff? Oh, okay. I'm not sure why that jump is just so hard to take every time. I'm not sure what it is. I don't feel like I can line myself up on that very well. But that is also why they have a practice mode, right? They got a practice mode because you gots to practice. But I cannot believe on Amateur I am coming in at ninth place. This is very, very pitiful. Yeesh. Really bad. But I gotta say, the game is... It is a fun game. But you are gonna have to put in some time to learn the game. Um, okay, we hit level three, which means what? Who knows even what? We did not place. Don't care. Sore loser. Sore winner. Yeah, sore loser. Sore winner as well. We did get a new helmet design. You do unlock things... Per level. I think I got to do livery on the last one. Uh, the only thing I'm interested in doing now is I want to set this all the way up to superstar. 
And let's do let's do Euro Truck because that sounds silly. Do one race. We're gonna do just like two laps. We're gonna do a real quick one here. Um, yeah, we'll confirm that. And where haven't we raced yet? Uh, let's see. We'll just do the simple Speedopolis one. It's like a circle. All right, trucks. We'll do the purple one. Let's do this. Nice music. By the way, good uh, good car sounds. Good sound design all around in this little game here. I like it. All right, look at this. These trucks definitely control much different. Oh, look, they're even leaving space in there for me to do these. Look, look how perfect they drive. This is uh, this is superstar difficulty. Look how perfect they are. You are not, <laughs> you are not gonna get ahead of anybody in this. There's no way. I don't even know how you would do it. They're driving perfectly. How would you even get ahead of these guys? Look, look how perfect they take every turn. All right, there, there's some there's some witchcraft going on here, guys, with the with the AI. There's no way. Whatever place you started, that is, uh, you know, unless you really mess up, that is where you're staying. There's no way. <laughs> My God. There's some, some real witchcraft or voodoo going on with that difficulty, that's for sure. Wow, look at the amount of XP I gained for doing Superstar, though. That's crazy. Just do a bunch of races in Superstar. But yeah, there you go, guys. That is Circuit Superstars. I think that is a cool and fun little game. But like I said already in the video, uh, make sure that you know what you're getting into with this one before you check it out because, you know, it's not it's not quite arcade and it's not quite sim. It's kind of a mix of both and you are going to have to spend some time, you know, kind of learning the ropes of this. There is a learning curve. So, uh, very fun little game though. It's, it's cool to see a uh, really well-made uh, top-down racer again. You know, it's it's been quite some time. I'm sure there's been other ones that have come out in the past few years, but like this is the first one I remember playing I, I don't know maybe my brain is just not working anymore my memory is just shot i probably played one last week and completely forgot but either way circus superstars on steam uh xbox one ps4 it's 20 bucks check it out if this looks cool to you and uh hey thanks for watching i'll see you all in the next one